Dan Wetzel, Yahoo Sports columnist and New York Times bestselling author. He's been working on the Michigan situation. What do you think is going to happen today with Michigan, if anything? Uh, I don't think anything will happen today. I think we'll go tomorrow, and it'll be down to what uh, the Big Ten wants to do. Um, Michigan's going to respond today to the Big Ten, and then I think the Big Ten will probably have a decision tomorrow or maybe Friday. Uh, do they want to suspend Jim Harbaugh uh, indefinitely? That is on the table uh, until the end of the NCAA investigation. Uh, do they want to just give him two games? Three games would be the rest of the regular season. Two games, uh, or they could back off and and not do anything. But uh, it's a precarious spot for Harbaugh uh, right now, considering what the Big Ten uh, is sending out there as possible punishments. Do you think there's a negotiation going on between Michigan and the NCAA and or Big Ten? Well, there's there's absolutely a negotiation going on. I don't know whether they will reach any negotiation. Um, We'll see how dug in everybody is. You know, it's hard to – we've never seen this, Dan. I mean, a, a commissioner suspending a head coach, let alone of a winning team in the middle of the season. I, I, I've been covering college athletics for, you know, a couple of decades. I've never heard anything like this in, in, in this element. Not, uh, you know, they went after the ref too hard or, you know, something like that. Um but while there's an investigation going on and, you know, I, I think, look, what Connor Stallions did was clearly uh, an attempt to violate the rules and and to help Michigan. Um, if the NCA's now three week investigation had covered any ties or, or knowledge, proof that Jim Harbaugh knew or even up to like his coordinators knew that Harbaugh should be fired immediately by Michigan. But that hasn't materialized. So to make this big of an aggressive move when an investigation's ongoing and it's not like, Hey, there's a, a text message here saying, Hey, Connor, you should go to the central Michigan game. Oh, thanks coach Harbaugh. Should I wear the sunglasses? Yes. Apps. You know, like if you got something like that gone, but without that kind of any knowledge and it, it appears, you know, we'll see, maybe they find something today, but they haven't found anything. This is a unprecedented move and so unprecedented negotiations and really no one knows what the what the Big Ten will do. But it is a uh, it is quite a precedent for the Big Ten to to make a move on Jim Harbaugh in the middle of an investigation. Yeah, I keep cautioning people like due process. Let's just let it play out. Everybody wants to get to the end of the story, suspend Harbaugh. Michigan can't play for a national championship. I, I want to know what is there. Like we keep hearing that could have happened. You know, everything's on the periphery. I need to know exactly, okay, you got Jim Harbaugh in Michigan dead to rights. This guy acting on his own. Did he share the information with uh, uh, a coordinator? Did that coordinator tell Jim Harbaugh? Is Jim Harbaugh sort of the way Patino was at Louisville? Hey, he didn't know about the hookers, but he should have known about the hookers. Right. I'm, I, I, I just, I'm waiting for the there there, Dan. Well, there's a couple things here, and and be clear, I'm not saying that Michigan is, should escape penalty or they didn't they didn't violate the rules, but I think there is perspective that needs to happen. And to you know, two things: nobody cared about sign stealing until three weeks ago. I mean, nobody cared about sign stealing. Yeah. They steal their signs, all, each other's signs. They advance scout all the time. They just have their friends and other coaching staffs hand over their work. Uh, I mean, this is that the whole scandal's like out of nowhere because of somebody investigated this and hoped the NCAA and the big 10 would overreact and we have overreacted. So we're going to see whether they still will overreact, but this is not the biggest scandal uh, on earth. That said, it is something. Um, what we have a lot of, and a lot of the way this story was framed is anonymous coaches screaming that he should have known. He must've known he had to have known all that stuff. And Tony Batiti having meetings with the, the coaches and the ADs of the other schools and listening to them like that's the last group you would listen to. I wouldn't want to hear Jim Harbaugh's opinion on something going on at Ohio State because I would just dismiss it out of hand. So a lot of this is like, well, this is the biggest. This is terrible. This is awful. They're doing the same thing, just in a different way. They all are stealing signs and they are all using advanced scouts, depending on how you define them in different ways to steal those signs. And so you can't, you know, I caution, I don't really care what happens here, right? 
I, I caution anybody who says, you know, a, an organization that says, well, we're just going to go on it because we're going to suspend Jim Harbaugh for the rest of the year because we think he should have known. That isn't how it should work. And if it's too slow or whatever, but what if he didn't? I mean, on the second day of this, I looked at this this case differently than most. And I thought what I see is Connor Stallions. This is this was my possible theory on the case. And maybe it proves to be wrong. It hasn't yet. Connor Stallions is a guy in his 20s, over eager, wants to be the Michigan head coach one day, has a 600 page manifesto about how he'll be the head coach and what he'll do. He gets attention as a young coach for being able to decipher these codes and break the codes. And he's from the Naval Academy and he's selling himself as this, this wizard at it. And Michigan knows he's stealing the codes. They, they know they're breaking down the signals. They just don't know how he's putting his thumb on the scale to be so good at it. He's not going to volunteer that information because it makes him look a guilty, get him fired or less of a genius. So he's pumping himself up. And not telling anyone. Most conspiracies in this country, although everyone wants to believe they're vast, they're usually very small. I don't think there is a very, very plausible case that he told no one and acted on his own. I don't know that that's it, Mm -hmm. but there's a very plausible explanation of that. I think everybody, including the NCAA and the Big Ten, went running in saying Harbaugh had to know, everybody had to know, Michigan had to know. And when you're going in on that route and then you're not even doing due process you put yourself over a barrel and you open Pandora's box. And so whether Jim Harbaugh gets suspended or not, or Michigan gets punished, many of those things should happen. I just would caution anyone to just say, well, we have one worldview here and it's because a bunch of other football coaches who aren't really paying attention, aren't really deep thinkers, just want Jim Harbaugh gone. That's a dangerous way for the NCAA and the big 10 to operate. And it's dangerous for all the other coaches too, because today it's Harbaugh tomorrow. It's you. If I said that you could find out what Harbaugh knew or find out who gift wrapped this investigation for the NCAA, well, uh, well, which would I choose? Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I'm of, I, I'm of the belief Harbaugh didn't know. Um, now should he, should he have been more curious? Should he have been more? Uh, I think I know that. I think Harbaugh didn't know. I should he, should he have been more curious? Should he have been more walking in that grad grad assistant room yelling anybody breaks a rule and costs me my job. I'm going to kill you. You know, all that stuff. He he's terrible manager of his staff, right? He's got all sorts of problems. It's not pertinent to the case who hired the PI. It it, it doesn't matter, but I don't really care what, ha- I don't care about sign stealing. I don't care what Michigan's part as purely a media vulture. Yeah. I want to know who hired him because somebody hired them hoping the NCA would fall for the okie doke and go with this and not think this through. And it worked perfectly and if nothing else than to tip my cap at whoever plotted this thing out they weren't really outraged by sign stealing uh is my guess there's not a sign stealing uh you know a hardcore anti-sign stealer out there that just said this is too much they wanted to get michigan they got michigan for the soap opera aspect that i like i'd want to know that good to talk to you dan thanks for joining us thanks dan dan wetzel yahoo sports columnist new york times best-selling author Yeah, we've talked about if these other schools are sharing signs, are they guilty of doing sort of the same thing that Michigan is guilty of or at least accused of? Maybe we find out something today. Maybe Michigan is trying to negotiate something here. Um, Jim Harbaugh keeps saying it never got to him. Maybe it didn't. But let's let it play out. It's, It's when we jump to the end because everybody has to have a hot take. Don't have a hot take. Make a phone call. Do some investigation. Report on this. Not, oh, you must be guilty. Okay. Oh, you got to fire him. Okay. I just want to know, uh, you know, a couple of things. 